Alright, so we're back for round four of the day. I got one I just picked up recently actually at my Menards hardware store. Uh, I just went over there on a whim when I was in a couple weeks ago buying supplies for my garden and went over to their se food section and found this. Famous Dave's. It's called Wilbur's Revenge Hot Sauce. I was intrigued by it, so a few days later I went back and bought another bottle when I got paid because I was bare on funds other than for the couple uh, things I needed to build one of my boxes for my garden. So in any case, um, teaspoon has five calories, uh, which are from sugars. There's two total carbs, one from sugars. So probably one and a half or so since it's five calories. Anyway, 50 milligrams of sodium, so not all that salty, which is good. Uh, the description says, My hot sauce focuses more on flavor than on intense heat. Wilbur's Revenge sauce is hot, but with this sauce, the individual flavors of the peppers in my sauce come through in a perfect blend. <laughs> uh, the premium ingredients listing is... First up, Famous Dave's Devil's Spit Barbecue Sauce, which contains high fructose corn syrup, water, tomato paste, vinegar, sugar, mustard, which further contains water, vinegar, mustard seed, salt, turmeric, paprika, and spices. Fault then, uh, sauce also contains salt, pineapple juice concentrate, Worcestershire sauce, which contains vinegar, molasses, corn syrup, water, salt, caramel color, garlic powder, sugar, spices, tamarind, natural flavor, and sulfiting agents. And then... Further down the list, it contains spices, molasses, honey, soybean oil, modified cornstarch, paprika, barley, malt flour, chili pepper, hydrolyzed soy protein, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, dehydrated onion, onion powder, lemon juice powder, which contains corn syrup solids, lemon juice solids, and natural flavor, and then garlic powder, caramel color, mustard bran, natural hickory smoke flavor, citric acid, instant coffee, turmeric, Okay, so that's just in the barbecue sauce. Then, it, this contains hot sauce, which further contains cayenne pepper, distilled vinegar, salt, and garlic. And then, uh, this further contains habanero peppers, pineapple concentrate, invert sugar, habanero powder, water, potassium sorbate, and sodium benzoate. Holy shit. That's a lot of ingredients. So, without further ado, Famous Dave's Wilbur's Revenge... I got to open it up. With all these fucking ingredients, I might as well shake it up for a good bit first. Okay. Ooh, I can smell that habanero. Spoil my palate just yet. Here we go. All right. Hmm. Very, very sweet. You can taste the pineapple. Mm. Just a sting. Mm. That is very hot. Fairly hot. Not very hot. Cut it good. Feels like I may get the hiccups. 
you know, intense warmth already right in here. Good sting burn right here in my throat. I can taste the pineapple quite a bit. Um, habanero a little bit, kind of smoky, probably from that barbecue sauce, which is the first ingredient. A lot of good textures in there. It was nice and smooth consistency. Occasional pepper seed or black pepper uh, chunk or flake of uh, chili pepper. But overall, really nice, smooth blend consistency-wise. That is really good heat settling right in the middle of my chest. Maybe I didn't swish it around in my mouth enough to get the full intensity of the heat. It's fairly hot in my mouth. My lips are glowing a bit, a few embers, tongue, got a fairly good back going, uh, a lot of it's right here in my throat, it's not over the top, but it's, it's definitely very pronounced, <clears throat> but yeah, a lot of the warmth settling right in here, it almost feels like heartburn, Yeah, my forehead's a little warm, not really sweating. Sinuses are clearing out a little bit. Drooling. Definitely. Yeah, this is very, very, very sweet. With all the different sources of sugar in there from the different pineapple juice concentrate and invert sugar and corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup. And then just regular sugar, molasses. So, I mean, it's many different sources of sugar. It's very sweet. Pineapple comes through. It, at, some of the flavor undertones remind me of that uh, micro batch 114 uh, from Original Juan Foods. That was one, that's one of my favorite ones. It reminds me a little bit of that, but it, all, it also has the barbecue type flavor. If you like meat, I would recommend putting, you know, brushing this on some ribs or pork chops or on a steak. It would be great on burgers. Uh, yeah. uh, lips still glowing. <clears throat> Fair amount. Nose is running now. Just a tiny bit. Excuse me. He just calmed down. It's moving more toward my stomach now. Not as heartburn like, but still feeling a little bit like up here, a heartburn type sensation. Not really any stinging now in my throat. That died down pretty fast. Lips are calming down a tad at a time. I can feel it gradually tapering off. Tongue. And on the tip of my tongue I can feel it a little bit, especially when I talk, but it's not all that bad. Roof of my mouth. Tiny little bit of a of a glow, but it's pretty mellow. Probably the most pronounced thing is probably this heat right in, near my stomach and on the perimeter of my lips. Faint, smoky, flavor lingering in the background, but it's not all that noticeable. Now this a decent heat to it. If you were to continue to eat this, you know, pour a little bit, take, you know, dip something in it and take a bite and keep doing that, you, the heat would probably pile up pretty fast. Uh, but as it stands right now, it's not too unbearable, I would say. Slightly more than mid heat. Tend, you know, moving more towards the hot end of the, of the spectrum, but kind of, kind of in the middle. Pretty noticeable. And if you're not prepared, you, it would probably uh, appear to, or you'd probably perceive it as being a bit hotter. Um, but I'd put it in <clears throat> slightly above mid, but just by a fraction as far as heat goes. Flavor-wise, it's good. It's got a nice blend of spices, good hickory uh, undertones coming through, and um, 
definitely the barbecue flavor. The Worcestershire sauce adds that nice uh, smoky body to it and uh, lends a little bit of, of a different burn sensation. And yeah, overall, it's the Famous Dave's Wilbur's Revenge. Uh, I would highly recommend this one. This is an excellent flavor, but it does have a good heat. Uh, if you're unprepared, it could catch you off guard as far as the heat goes, but it's not, it's not too bad overall compared to some of the other ones I've had. Kind of tame compared to some, but it's still definitely got a really good heat to it. So I recommend this one for flavor and uh, for a good solid heat.